Hey y'all, welcome to my second official YouTube video. My name is Jen Jen and I'm a fashionista wannabe loving and living the luxe life. If you, I'll be shopping at Dior and if you're interested, please stay tuned to unbox all the goodies I bought. I'm also a nurse, so don't forget, life is short. Treat yourself all day, every day. Let's get into it. Really, Chip? the Dior Caro bag for quite some time now and when I tried it on in store I tried the size small and it was just absolutely divine in terms of practicality there is a back pocket which fits my Google Pixel 6 yes I'm an Android user I also really like how it's an easy single access flap and then it also has soft, supple lambskin leather. I'm really not a big fan of caviar, don't kill me. And then I also really like the multi-functionality this purse has. It can be a crossbody, it can be a shoulder bag when you put the chains together and it also can become a clutch when you detach this chain from the bag itself. And it really reminds me of the Chanel mini rectangular flap. However, there's a lot of cons to my Chanel mini flap that I own just because it hits really low on my hip. Actually, it's like almost, I wanna say top of my thigh and I really don't like that and it's kind of stiff so stiff as in even though the leather the lambskin leather is really soft like the back pocket is so stiff you can't really put anything in that if you get what I mean you can't really put your phone in there and you're only able to put small essentials in the Chanel mini rectangular flap. Hand sanitizer, you can put a chapstick, but you can't put your phone in it. I feel like with the Dior Caro bag, you can put all your essentials in there and not have to worry about holding your phone or putting your phone in your pocket. And it's just so pretty. Here's the Dior Caro bag with the chain doubled up. Then this is the single strap, which is a bit long for me. And then finally, crossbody just hits right below my hip. I love, love the sophisticated purse. This is the really cool mechanism my essay showed me on how to attach and detach the chain strap. I'll go more into depth about the pros and cons of the two bags, the Chanel mini rectangular flap versus the Dior Caro bag when I get that in. So let's start the unboxings. Ooh, I'm so excited. Okay, I've obviously started to use these things, but I just wanted to open it up for you guys. So the first thing, if you already know, is a Mitsa. And it goes perfectly well with one of my Hermes Kellys. Ta-da! Isn't it gorgeous? It's so beautiful. On this side, um, it has like a black background with a blue, red, orange, green kind of color combo, floral combo. And then on the other side, it has a black and white Christian Dior. The reference number, if you want this Mitsa, is 15MIF106 
I611 and it's also under C900 and it's in obviously black. Let me bring this down here. It has a whole bunch of goodies. I got three of the Christmas holiday eyeshadow palettes. I actually went to Saks Fifth Avenue, got some Chanel holiday gift sets from my SA. So I got five of those, which I will show you guys later in, the, in another video. And I saw one of these because Chanel is right next to Dior. And I saw one of these and I was thinking, I should probably get that. I'm gonna get it. But after I paid for my Chanel gift sets, I kind of just forgot about the last one. I think it was the last one. It was the last one on the Dior makeup counter. And I was just kicking myself because I literally came by the next day and it was gone. There is the nicest essay there that remembered me, I believe from the day before, and she was like, hey, you were supposed to come by and get this. And so when, when I did talk to her, she was able to order me three of the holiday eyeshadow palettes, and I'm just so ecstatic to receive them. And she was able to put a code in for two day free shipping. Like, hello, thank you. Thank you, Fifi, so much for that. And she also signed me up for a makeup class this upcoming Saturday. I will do a vlog about that and invite you there. Um, it's a makeup class and I'm super excited about that. Anyways, so with this holiday eyeshadow palette, ooh, I am giving one to my mom, my aunt, and keeping one for myself. And I've actually already tried it out. I hope it's this one, but I'm gonna unbox it for you guys. It's super cute. You've probably seen some YouTube videos already making this into a card holder. And here it is. It has a beautiful neutral palette. I've used this light glitter nude, as well as the darker brown nude and it has a little bit of glitter and sparkle. I'm actually wearing it right now and I love it. It does not disintegrate too easily and then when you put it on it stays put and then you smooth it out and it just has this really nice effect. Oh, by the way, that holiday set is $65 each pre-tax. Next is Ta-da! It's a medium-sized box. I have a backstory for this as I open this up. I actually went to the boutique on a whim, my first time there, honestly, and I actually had an appointment with Fendi with my SA prior to stopping by, and I saw the I saw two things that I wanted, and this is this is one of the things I really really wanted. Can you guess what it is? You probably do. It is the 30 Montaigne sunglasses. Super cute, super simple, super chic, très chic. You know, gotta use those French glasses. And I really love them. I think they fit my face really well. I have quite a small face and I just love it so much. It's not too dark and it doesn't hinder my eyesight when I'm driving or when I'm out and about. And I love this leather pouch it came in. I totally forgot about my backstory. I went there, got this pair, but didn't check it. Always check your items, guys. Always check your items. And so when I opened it up and, let me take this off. When I opened it up, the first pair, it was unbalanced. It was uneven. I could feel it on my face when I put it on. And it was just, it was just annoying me to pieces. I texted the SA that helped me out and they were able to exchange it. Even though it's final sale, I told them the issues that I was having and they were able to exchange it for me. I started a wonderful new relationship with my SA in that Dior boutique in Saks Fifth Avenue because I did not have a great experience in another location. Yeah, yeah. 
the 30 Montaigne sunglasses. It came out to be $440. And on that same visit, I was also eyeing this. Eek! So happy. You probably already saw it in my pictures on Instagram. Follow me at Jen Jen Lux. I've actually worn this a couple of times, but this is not the full size. I don't think you can see it fully, but it's a 140 shawl. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And it does the job of actually keeping me nice and juicy and warm. That came out to be $1,200. And I already knew this. This was one of my wish list items. I know that's a bit of an ouch, but look how pretty it is. I just love it. And I will definitely use this a lot going into winter time now that it is, I can't believe it. it's already November, but it's just been a very stressful last two weeks for me personally. But this is why YouTube is an outlet, a communication practice tool outlet for me, fun hobby outlet, and just a sharing outlet for everyone that's watching as I go along this kind of retail therapy for what's been going on. Again, my name is Jen Jen. I'm a nurse and a fashionista wannabe. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos that I'll be releasing. See you next time. Don't forget, life is short. Treat yourself all day, every day. Bye.